The Warrior football players in South Philly, Joe Weisinger is the man who they've gone to when they need help on the field with practice and off the field with life lessons about grit, respect, and discipline. But a medical diagnosis now has Coach Joe asking for help. I met him and his family. Here's his story. I don't really like to talk about it. If Joe Weisinger had his way, he'd be anywhere else right now. He hates asking for help. Everything I do in life, I want to do it all on my own. These days, it's not about what he likes or wants. It's about what he needs, a kidney transplant. And I came uh, home from the Phillies game, and I knew I was a hot night, and I just noticed that my legs, I was wearing shorts and uh, sandals, and I noticed my feet and legs were very swollen. That was 2009. Doctors diagnosed him with nephrotic syndrome. He started with over-the-counter medication, then in-home dialysis. Start to finish, it's about a five-hour process, five days a week. Joe says it's like having a part-time job. He no longer works. When he goes to his chair, though, he's not alone. He is surrounded by pictures of his family. He says it's a team effort, and his diagnosis has been just as tough on them. Sometimes you get discouraged for a few minutes, but then you just pick it up and move on. Without her, this would never happen. So, I mean, she's, she's my rock. If his wife Bridget is his rock, his four-year-old son Joey is his entertainment during dialysis. Play checkers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell them um, books. Joe also has another team behind him, the youth football team, the Warriors in South Philly. He insists on coaching despite his health. For him to uh, be coaching for what is going on in his life is, is just amazing. Coaching makes... Sorry, sorry. Coaching football makes life normal for me. I'm sharing with them what somebody shared with me. But as much as he helps them, now Coach Joe is the one asking for help. Several family members stepped up to donate a kidney but failed to pass the required health screening. Adding to the challenge, Joe's blood type is O positive, meaning he can donate to anyone but can only receive from others who are also O type. I'm thinking about Joe, I'm thinking about Aubrey, I'm thinking about our future. I'm thinking, you know, th this isn't good for our family. And, and, and I, need to, I need to ask for help. I need help now. And for others struggling with a health condition, Joe says do not give up and don't be afraid to ask for help. If you'd like to help the Weisinger family, contact Thomas Jefferson Hospital's Transplant Center. We're going to post all of this information on our website at cbsphilly.com. But it really was a great story. And his family, to meet them all, they're just such wonderful people. And a lot of people are dealing with the same, you know, the same journey, the same condition. So they have to have an O blood type. They have to have an O blood type for him to receive, receive it. it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's so. keep our fingers crossed. Someone out there is paying attention. We'll tweet out this story yeah. later on. Great story, Rahel. Thanks.